Hey y'all! So today I have another It's Fall Y'all recipe to share with y'all. Today I'm going to make a crustless pumpkin cheesecake. I have never made a low carb cheesecake so I am super excited about this because cheesecake is like one of my all time favorite things ever. So I'm going to whip this recipe up and we are going to make a pumpkin cheesecake. The first thing I did was weigh out 300 grams of pure pumpkin, pure pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling. Pure pumpkin. 300 grams, two cups of this. The next thing I am going to do is add an eight ounce block of cream cheese into my bowl of pumpkin. So we're gonna open this, dump it in. If I can figure out how to open cream cheese. You should let it soften a bit before you blend it together. I added in my cream cheese and pumpkin together and kind of stirred them up. Next I'm going to use my little handheld blender to mix them together. So the next thing I am going to do is add a half a cup of stevia into my bowl. I am also going to add about a teaspoon or two of pumpkin spice and a little bit of ground cinnamon. I'm just going to sprinkle that in there. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now I'm going to blend this all together and get everything all mixed up. I forgot that I'm going to add just a tiny pinch of salt into my batter as well. I went ahead and mixed up all of my spices and stevia and now I'm going to crack three eggs into it and blend it all up. Alright, so I just cracked three eggs into my mixture. And I'm going to use my little hand blender and mix it all up. So, this is just about blended up. My batter is all mixed together and we are done. So, this is going to be a crust... I, Please ignore my mess, I'm just messy cook. Since I could not find a clear pie pan, we're just gonna have kind of a pie square instead of a pie circle, you know, oh well. So I have this greased with a little bit of coconut oil so that it doesn't stick. And I'm just going to dump my cheesecake batter into the pan. Hey guys, our crustless pumpkin cheesecake is ready to stick in the oven. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees, which is ready in 15 seconds. I'm going to stick this on in, and I'm estimating that it's gonna take probably 30 minutes or so to set up and cook, and then I'm going to cool it, top it with a little bit of whipped cream, and we're gonna have us, it's ready. Let's stick it in. My pumpkin cheesecake is in the oven and I will check back in with y'all when it is cooked. Right, guys, I just took my cheesecake out of the oven. I pulled the cheesecake out after 30 minutes. It looked set and cooked and it smells so good. I'm so excited. I put the recipe into my fitness pal so that we could figure out the macros for a slice. Since it's in a square, I decided to make it serve nine so I could cut it into three sections and then across three, so nine cubes. And for one cube, it's going to be six grams of carbs, nine grams of fat, and 4.2 grams of protein. I'm probably going to top it with a little bit of sugar-free whipped cream because who doesn't like whipped cream with their cheesecake? So now I have this very long process of waiting for this to cook, or waiting for it to cool, so that we can give it a try. 
Okay, it's been a little while. I let my cheesecake cool and I stuck it in the refrigerator. And I cut me a little slice of my cheesecake. And it has the consistency of cheesecake. It smells like pumpkin cheesecake. And now we're gonna give the pumpkin cheesecake a try. But um, this sugar-free whipped cream felt like it's the perfect time to pull this out and give me a little bit of whipped topping. So let's give this a try. I'm so excited for this. Cheesecake is my weakness. Mmm. I love this. This is really good. It has the consistency of cheesecake. Next time I'll have to make a low carb crust to go with it. Mmm. This is good. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed today's recipe in this It's Fall Y'all mini series. And my pumpkin cheesecake turned out incredible. So give it a try this fall. I really hope that y'all enjoyed today's video and enjoy me sharing recipes like this today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out. Subscribe to my channel down below and I'll see y'all again real soon. Bye guys!